This is real time and we're gonna cut through three millimeter basswood. Look at that. What's up guys, I'm Nick and this is Build Dead Build. Where we're building our own robot army. All right guys, so we are reviewing another laser today. And I know, I know, I know. Nick, you keep reviewing lasers. Well, that's because they keep sending them to me. But hear me out, hear me out, dude. Hear me out, dude. When I got my first laser, when I got the Ortur, which I'll link to that video up here, I didn't know anything about lasers. That was my first diode. Uh, and then I got a CO2 laser from Muse, another diode from Sculpt Fun. But now I feel like, in no means do I feel like I'm an expert, but I now feel like I know a little bit more about lasers in general. So I would like to introduce you to this sexy beast right here. This is the X-Tool D1 and it puts the X in sexy. Oh, oh, oh yeah, baby. Okay, now the first thing you'll notice is the way this thing is designed. It's really sleek, it's put together well, and what it does is it hides a lot of pain points that we have on other diode lasers. First off, you've got all of your belt inside the rails, so there's no concern about something getting in the way of them or anything. The X-axis is self-contained in here. Uh, the only real cable that's kind of showing is this guy and there's places to zip tie it against this rail. The only thing you really need to be concerned about is where this is in the grand scheme of things. Honestly, I haven't run anything this close enough over here to actually worry about that yet. So from a pure aesthetics point of view, it is sleek, it is well put together. Um, let me tell you, the assembly on this is so easy that I didn't even want to include it in this video. I will link to Xtool's video on it, but it literally took me about 10 to 15 minutes to put it together. Most of the stuff is already assembled when you get it. Back here, these, these tensioning screws right here, those go directly into the belts here. So instead of having something like this, where you've got like your belt hanging out and whatnot, you can, you can change your tension by tightening that up. The next thing to note about this laser is that the laser itself is 0.08 millimeters squared. So it's gonna give you a pretty fine dot for engraving. All right guys, before we get into the meat and taters of this laser, um, I have messed up <laughs> and I would like to fix that right now. I had a patron join about a month ago and I keep forgetting to shout him out in my videos. So I want to shout him out now. Mark Bachmeyer, thank you so much for your patronage, brother. I appreciate you joining the Build Dad Bill crew over at patreon.com. And while I'm at it, I just want to thank all my patrons. Uh, these are the guys that keep the lights on in the shop, especially my Boilermaker patrons. Steven Mann, Eric Weiss, Chuck Faulkner, Derek Coates, Puffy Muffins, Zach Z, Jim Carter, and Andy the Viking. A special, well, it's coffee right now, but a special clinkies to you right now. Appreciate you guys. If you guys haven't had a chance to check out my Patreon page, uh, I'll link it down below. Just head on over, uh, check it out, join up if that's your thing. All right, now let's get back to the sexy beast. Okay, so when Xtool approached me with this laser, there were some stipulations. One, I wanted the 10 watt version because the Ortur and the Sculpt Fun are both like in that five to 5.5 range. I wanted something that was a little bit more powerful. I wanted to see what a diode could cut. Two, I, w I requested a rotary attachment because I wanted to see what it's like to laser engrave things like on tumblers and flasks and things like that. So yes, they did send me out uh, the Xtool D1 and the rotary attachment for free. I almost said no, I really did. Cause I have done a lot of laser videos lately. I know that some of you guys are not totally into that. I am glad I accepted this one because I'm in love with this bad mamma jamma. So it's my understanding that the way they achieve a 
10 watt diode laser. They actually have two five watt diode lasers. One's pointed down and one's pointed at a 45 degree angle and somehow one passes through the mirror and the other one reflects down into it and gives you 10 watts of power going down. Aside from the belts being enclosed and most of the cables being managed better, another thing they thought of, which I just think is brilliant, is this. So if you want to focus your laser, you're going to undo it on this side, you're going to lift it up, you're going to put your stock under it, and then you bring this little kickstand down. If I can get it out, bring the little kickstand down, and then you set that on your material. Retighten this guy right here. And that is that is set your focal length. So now this material is ready to be lasered. So you don't have to worry about a billet or measuring or anything like that. And you don't have to worry about losing that billet because this thing's right there, comes right back up. And besides the sexy appearance of this bad boy and just the kind of innovations that make it a, make it feel like a little bit more of a solid unit, this thing does the work. So they say the 10 watt version can cut up to six millimeter basswood, but, but this right here, that is a 10 millimeter piece of pine. 9.61 is what that's reading at, with 9.65. Okay, so let's set this up like you're gonna cut. I'm gonna adjust this real quick and then I'm gonna get into the software and fire it up. All right, it also gives you a nice, a nice little crosshair with the red laser. That's, that's just an optical laser so you can see where your starting point is. Now watch this, I'm just gonna start this. Check that out. Minimal burn around, a little bit of burn on the back. Don't, don't pay attention to that one. I engraved on accident. And that was about 40 seconds. So check that out. Almost 10 millimeter material, 40 seconds diode laser. That's insane. I did also successfully cut through six millimeter poplar. Little burn on the back. Um, I did try, so this is just like, this thing doesn't say that it can do that by any means. This is uh, this is quarter inch red oak, and and we we got in there, but we didn't we didn't get all the way through. <laughs> it's just really good at en engraving on leather. Check that out. Um, I did the as the laser going around, it caught this a little bit and pulled it off. So there's a, there's a little bit of off there. Before I pulled it out, it was cutting through this leather too, and this leather is thicker than I think it says it'll cut through like 0 0.07 millimeter leather and this is this is thicker than that I also took it through and did some engraving there is an engrave um, that one looks pretty good I did try to do a photo that I've been having a hard time with on any laser and that's my mom and uh, my kids and it didn't come out great it's a little dark um, this is on cherry by the way and then I set up, well, this has proprietary software, which I'll get to in a second, but I wanted to see how well it would let me set up like multiple layers, like an engrave and a cut at the same time. So we've got this little guy right here, which the engrave is still a little dark, but still it, it went ahead and engraved it and then it cut it. And this is again, almost 10 millimeter of material. It can even engrave on stainless steel. So here's a little dog tag they send you, pardon me, I was askew. And when I was setting this up, I had a hard time lining this up in, in the proprietary software. And that brings me to like my biggest problem with this unit, and that is the proprietary software. It's difficult to figure out exactly where the laser is in relation to everything else. I tried to run this with light burn and it won't recognize it. Like my engravings were too dark, but you can, you can still go in and adjust those after the fact. But my main issue is there's only a couple of different materials in each one. Like undercutting, you only have three materials. Basswood, corrugated cardboard, I'm assuming, and leather. Engrave, you have a couple more options. You have basswood, uh, cur corrugated fiberboard. I'm sorry, not, not cardboard. Leather, stainless steel, coated metal. Which is great, but like 
you still have to figure out your settings for everything else. And since this is proprietary software, I don't have any way to, to run a burn test pattern like I do in Lightburn without a lot more work, without setting something up. And I don't even know if I could, I, I think I might have to do each one individually. So it depends on what you're looking for. If you want something that's gonna do a lot of the work for you, this may be more of a unit for you. I do really like it for the cutting capabilities and you can still set your own settings. Also keep in mind they're always improving their software so there will definitely be more materials in your software in the future. There is also an app in the works which would be pretty cool. You could actually just do the work from your phone and send it directly to the unit. As is, I am hardwired in right now but you can connect to this thing wirelessly too. So there's that, uh, which is not an option on a lot of your diode lasers. Also Xtool, it does not look like it's a company that's going away anytime soon. They have a couple other CO2 lasers. They're coming out with a CO2 laser and cutter combo. So kind of like uh, a CO2 laser that can also do stuff that a cricket could with a blade. I am really happy with this unit, but keep in mind the 10 watt version comes with a price tag attached. It's about 650 bucks and that's what they're saying that's on sale. So like regular 800, 650 right now. I do believe there's some Black Friday deals coming up. Five watt version falls in line with your tour, which is about $470. So now that I have three diode lasers, which one do I like the best? Okay, this is difficult. I think the X tool, if they can get their software where it needs to be, or if they say, let's make this light burn compatible, that this, this blows all the other ones away. However, that's not the case right now. So do I like it? I love it. I love the way it looks. I like its cutting capability. Um, I will have to play with the settings some more for the engraving, see if I like the engraving. Like the way it looks, it is, it's, it's sexy as hell. Oh, it's sexy as hell. The Auteur works with light burn, so love that about it. Has some safety features on it that if you're worried about that, it has the flame sensor, it has the emergency stop, stuff like that on it. So I would say this comes from a little bit more of like safety concern ask um, and then you get the sculpt fund which is a great unit uh it is it's 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 solid i like the way it's constructed it lacks some things like limit switches and things like that but the sculpt fund is also like a hundred dollars cheaper than the orteur or maybe it's like 80. kind of depends on what you're looking for i i want i i want the cutting capability so i'm liking the 10 watt version here my understanding is the orteur might be coming out with a 10 watt too so i mean Things are always changing in laser land. But I gotta say, just from aesthetics, seeing it in my shop, ease of use, ease of putting together, I'm, I'm kind of loving the X tool right now and I'm really looking forward to see what they put out next. All right guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you have a question on a material, that if this thing can cut it or engrave it, leave it in the comments down below. And until next time, thanks for playing. And now I gotta get to work. In the military, they call these BC glasses, birth control glasses. Sexy, aren't I? <laughs> Jog to the left. Jog to the right. Two stomps this time. Ooh, what do you think, wackus bonkus? Laser it. Ooh, naughty wackus bonkus. Laser in. What you gonna do? It's called the X-Tool D1. And we all know what D stands for. Whoa! Don't put that in. Don't. It's a joke. If you're gonna be a tool, be an X-Tool. That's not working either. Now that I've lasered leather, I, oh, I'm gonna get so many, so many comments and DMs and emails. Oh, Cause y'all are gross.